Hi everyone. So this is our lecture ten, where we are going to learn about HTML entities. So first of all, let's understand what are HTML entities. HTML entities are special code used to represent the correct character that have a reserved meaning in HTML, or character that are not easily typed. For example, let me show you. If I am typing this, uh, less than or greater than symbol, then I'm going to save this file and let's see on web page whether it's showing or not greater than or equal to. Then you are able to see that the symbol is showing on a web page. But what if I write inside div? So let me save this file and uh, let's see on web page it's not showing. So this is the reserve character and that's why it's not showing on a web page. So for that, what we can do? So this less, less than and more than these symbol may be mistaken for tag. So to solve this problem, entities can be used. With the help of entities, we can solve this problem. Like to identify reserve characters and their corresponding HTML entities, a simple method is to open your browser, internet browser, now search for HTML entities, HTML entities, click enter and here you got uh, many links for HTML entities, click on any relevant link such as here I am going to click on W3 schools, there you will find a list of reserved character, scroll down. Okay, so here you can find a list of reserved character along with the corresponding HTML entities. This allows you to use the correct syntax when working with this character. So let's see, here we have non-breaking space. So how can we write this? We can write this like that, non-breaking space. Then we have less than, for less than we can use this. And... Uh, if we want to use it in a number form, then we can use this. And then hashtag and then 60. What we call this operator, this n, we can call it what? Ampersand. And this is hashtag, as we already know about this. So if you want to use this symbol, so for that you have to use this one. Let me use it. And let's check. It's working fine or not? I'm going to paste this, paste it here. Now I'm going to save this file. And let me see on my UI. Yeah, it's showing. So for greater than, we can use this reserve character. And uh, less than, we can use this uh, reserve character. And for greater than, we can use this GT. And if we want to use this ampersand, for that, we can use this reserve character. So like this, we have lots of reserve character and you can use it in your code for printing that. Now what happened, I want to print the div on my code. So for that, what can I do? You can see here it's written div. But before div, we have a symbol of less than. And for using less than symbol, we have to use this. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to use it from here. Copy it and paste it here. And inside that, I'm going to write this. Okay. So after div, what I'm going to do is that we have a symbol of greater than. Let me see what we can use for greater than this word. And GT. I'm going to copy this and uh, paste it here. Because in last, we have a symbol of greater than. Let me paste it. Now save it. Let's see on our web page, it's showing or not. Now you can see it's printing here. So in this way, you can print reserve character by looking on the list of reserve character and you can use it and print, which is not typical on your keyboard. So by practicing the use of reserve character and implementing them in your code, you can gain a better understanding. 
This hands-on approach allows you to check and reinforce your knowledge and you will quickly understand their uses. Okay, so that's all for today. See you in the next upcoming video lecture.